All right, here we are, guys. Today's video, I'm going to show you how to build a four gallon per minute, 420 cc electric start pressure washer pump that I put on here. It's a four gallon per minute. This is pretty much the same pump that you're getting when you go to Lowe's, Home Depot, Harvard Freight. It's the same type of pump that they have on their four gallon per minute. Unbelievable the price of this. Everything the motor mount, the mount that it's on. The pump, the engine, everything. I'm going to put the price right there. You can't buy a four gallon per minute at Home Depot or Lowe's or Harbor Freight or anywhere for the price that it costs to build this. And nobody's going to have electric start anywhere near this price range. This engine has very good reviews on it. Everything from the pistons to the rings to the rods they use very good quality parts in this engine there's your starter all right let's get into this build here show you guys how to build it so i just finished unpacking everything i got everything laid out here on the table um, everything was packaged pretty well nothing's damaged so in order to build this here four gallon per minute machine you are going to need some anti-seize and what that's for is we put that on the shaft here so next time if we have to change this pump out in the future it'll come off easier also you want to get you some blue loctide and that's a thread locker for the threads on the bolts because this thing is going to vibrate you know you know how engines are so first thing we're going to do is we're going to mount this engine on the plate here using these bolts right here i got from home depot make sure you get stainless steel don't get the cheaper ones the way it's going to work is the engine mount bolt holes are going to be these two right here these are going to be your engine mount bolt holes okay we're going to use these and those all right so you gotta lift this big baby up wow that thing is heavy once you get the motor mount on there, slide your bolt up. Okay. I got a washer and a lock nut. Get some blue Loctide. Don't be afraid to use this stuff. But you don't need a whole, whole lot. But. And then tighten your bolt down. Your nut. Okay, and do the same thing on the other side. I'm just going to hand tighten these as far as I can get them. Yep, just make sure you don't over tighten these. Okay, just snug them down. If you go too tight, you'll hear a pop, and that means you done messed up. So remember, this is cast aluminum. Don't over tighten it. All right, once you got all your bolts tightened, next up, you see that keyway there? You want to make sure your key is in there. It's being held on by that zip tie. And now on your pump, you can see which way that key is facing. So you want to make sure it's lined up correctly. If you got to turn this to line it up, but you want that key to be lined up with that pump when you go to slide it on. Here's your bolts for the, there's going to be a bolt and a washer for four of them for the pump. It does come with an extra key in there in case you didn't have one. But we already have a key, so you can just set this one aside. If you ever replace the pump and you need a key, you'll have one. So get your bolts ready. And these bolts, you're going to put a little bit of Loctite on each one of these, too. All right, here we go. So get your anti-seize. And you're just going to paint it on there. Look at that. Oh, yeah. And what this does is make it so next time we go to take this off, It'll be easier to get it off. It won't be so rusted on there. It's still going to be hard to get it off. Don't get me wrong. But this just makes it a little bit easier in the future. I can't get on there pretty good. Especially around that key. There's the key fell out. That's okay. Now it should stay in there. 
All right, here we go. So we got our four nuts with washers on them. First thing we want to do is go ahead and put some Loctite on each one. Remember, it don't take much. Just a little drop like that. And then once you start screwing them in there, they'll uh, they'll straighten out. So I'm going to put a little bit on each one. Okay. Okay. Oh, the bottom of it. Sorry. Now, we're going to get our pump. Oh, yeah. Got the heavy stuff here. All right. We got our pump. We're going to take some of that anti seize again. I'll put a little bit in there. Not a whole lot, but. All right, here we go. Line that keyway up. Make sure it don't fall out. All right, we're on. We are on. We are completely on the shaft. We're just sitting here. So I got to put these bolts in. All right, once you're lined up, go ahead and put your bolts in. One. All right, that's two. Get this bottom all right, once you got them in there, you can go ahead and start tightening them. But same thing, do not over tighten these. If you over tighten it, you will crack this. All righty, there you have it. The pump's on. Look at that, man. Now, the pump does come with, you can take the sticker off. It just tells you, hey, you got to replace it with the, the regular cap before you start. And it comes with that right here. Let's see if this pump has oil in it. We gotta get you a crescent wrench. Undo this cap here. This is just for shipping. But the pump does have oil in it. You can see the oil level. See it right there at the top. Anyways, I can see it right there at the top. So that's cool. At least the pump comes with oil. So just undo this little cap here. All right. This is just for transportation, so you can hold on to it in case you ever have problems with the pump because the pump does come with a warranty. So maybe hold on to that in case you ever got to send it back. Screw it in there. We're going to check it. Let's unscrew it. Look at that. It's got oil in it. It's hard to see it on camera, but it's full. It's right up to the mark there. So it does come with oil. All right. Next thing you want to do, you done. we got our engine here. We got it on the mount. We got the pump mounted. The pump's got oil in it from the factory, but this does not have oil in it. So open it up the side that has this little oil dipstick thing. Both sides have one, but this side's actually got the stick on it. So get you a funnel. Put her in there just like that. Then we're going to add some of this Penn's oil, 1030. All right, here we go. We. I don't know how it's going to take. I'm guessing about a quarter away. Anyways, I'm about three quarters of a quart. I'm going to stop there and check it. Let's see where we are. Screw this in. Unscrew it and see where we are on it. We're at the very bottom of the stick, so we're starting to show up. So. Put some more in. All right. Now I am. Oop. Almost a whole quart through. Check it. I am in the good mark. Let's see if I can get you to focus in on it. I doubt it. It's so little. 
Anyways, my oil level is like right about there. So it's in the good mark. And I'm going to leave it like that for now. I'm going to run a little bit and then check the oil. All right, on the starter here, take off this front bolt. Take off this little bolt here, 10 millimeter. Got our cable. Go right there. Black one. Alrighty, everything is hooked up. I got this whip line plugged straight in to the pressure washer running off the hose reel. I got the garden hose coming off the hose reel. Never mind this buffer tank, that's not for this. This buffer tank is for this machine, which we're not using today. This is strictly a test for the four gallon per minute. And eventually I will hook this up to a buffer tank and I will show you guys how to do that. But for today, just off the garden hose. So here we go. So we're gonna start this machine up for the first time ever. We have a test spot to do on the side of this house here. There's some steps going up to the house that are really full of organic growth and stuff. But to test out the pressure of this machine, we're gonna just use pressure only, which I never do. I always downstream some chemical on there, some chlorine, SH, call it what you want. Alrighty, here we go. Everything's hooked up. We are going to choke it. We're going to turn the key. And once it starts, I'll turn the choke back. Getting about 3,800 PSI. All right, so what we're gonna do is a bucket test. This machine should get 4.2 gallons per minute. We got our stopwatch, so we have to get it right up to that mark. That's four gallons in one minute. So let's go ahead and do it. We're getting more than four gallons per minute, so. Wow. Probably four and a half gallons a minute. Now we're gonna switch over to this gun, and this has the DS twist on it, the M5 twist, and we're gonna downstream some chlorine, SH. 
put that in our chemical. Okay. Gotta wait for it. The test came out really good on the machine. I'm very happy with that. I'm getting close to 4.5 gallons per minute with it. The PSI is about 3,800 PSI, not quite 4,000. Anyways, hope you guys learned something. Hope you liked it. Remember, give me that thumbs up, subscribe, comment, and thank you all. Bye-bye.